Hey, how's it going everyone? I wanted to share this new camera I got and take a look at it um, and show some of the pictures I took with it because I think it's pretty cool and interesting. I picked this up at a local uh, photo shop for $50 with the camera and the lens. And what this is, is a Ricoh 35 millimeter um, film camera. The model is KR dash 10 M and I looked it up this particular camera was made in 1990 and it is it has a full auto functionality so you can set it to program or auto um, aperture and then you can set it to auto shutter and then you can point and shoot and it will automatically adjust those two settings based on the light. You could also do auto shutter and then adjust your aperture so that you can control your you know, depth of field or you can do auto um, aperture and set your shutter. So what's cool about this and why I picked it up is because one, it's, was, it was $50 and it has a 100 millimeter to 500 millimeter lens. And I've shot um, telephoto lenses before with Canon glass uh, with a 200 millimeter lens on my uh, digital mirrorless camera, my Sony a7 II. And I really enjoyed it. I shot it um, close ups on mountains. So you have these big mountains and then you get telephoto you know, compressed view at 200 millimeters. And I got some really cool shots and I've never really shot telephoto again. I really don't know why, but I saw this as 50 bucks. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it out. So I shot a roll and what's cool about it is it just takes regular, it takes four AAA batteries. There's like four buttons on the entire thing. So you have arrows to control your shutter, you control your aperture on the lens and then you have a mode for continuous shooting. So I'll, there's no film in it, but if you can hear that, it has a rapid um, shooting mode or it has a double exposure mode where you take one picture and then you take another picture and it will wind it or just a regular single shot and auto. And then you use these two buttons to adjust your aperture or your uh, shutter. It goes up to two, one two thousandth of a second, which is pretty quick. And then it has a timer function, which I haven't used, but the timer button seems to not really work or at least I don't see. And there's this little screen here. So there's like three buttons besides the on and off switch, I guess four, if you include the shutter button but it has a automatic, it's kind of, uh, for a 1990s, you know, they definitely used all the electronic functionality on this. It, you don't set your ISO on it. It has the little reader, electronic reader in there. So you put your film in, you wind it up here and you just close it. It automatically winds the film. It automatically senses the ISO of the film. And then when you're, I've shot a roll, when you're done shooting and you're on frame uh, 36, it will rewind the film up on its own. So it's pretty much fully electronic. You don't really have to do much. It takes care of everything itself, which is pretty nice. If you wanted, you could do full auto and the only thing you have to worry about is focusing. Hey, I wanted to interrupt this video real quick to mention that I am giving away a 35 millimeter um, film camera, a Pentax P30T. Goes up to one one thousandth of a second shutter with a um, 28, let's see, what is it? Let me zoom out. 28 to 105 millimeter lens, so you've got a good range. 3.5 to 22 aperture. Got an f-stop there. Um, got some electronic functionality. It's a super nice Pentax and I'm giving it away. 
all you gotta do is subscribe and then comment your Instagram handle below and then I'll do a random drawing. Whoever wins, I'll send them a message on Instagram to get your details. I'll send you this camera. And if you don't have an Instagram, just comment, I don't have one. And then I'll reply to your comment and get your information that way. So go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and you'll automatically be entered to win this Pentax 35 millimeter camera with a um, 28 to 105 millimeter lens. So I'll get back to the video now and thanks for watching. Subscribe, enter to win Pentax 35 millimeter camera. So I took a bunch of pictures of it. I got some cool pictures of a plane flying across the sky close up. I got some close up shots of a mountain during a, when it snowed during June, it was the clouds and the snow. I did a portrait or two and a lot of them turned out well. I used a Fuji Film 400 speed. So it's a pretty cool camera for 50 bucks. I'm definitely glad I picked it up. Um, when I got it, I was thinking, oh, I could, when I'm on a road trip, if I go to a national park where there's a lot of wildlife, this would be perfect for getting a lot of wildlife. One thing I've learned that uh, when you're zoomed in at 500 millimeters, you definitely want to have a fast shutter because any movement is um, exemplified or make, made greater. And you can tell when you're zoomed in, the tiniest shakes, the tiniest of uh, movements, you can see a lot. So <clears throat> I would recommend if you're using a telephoto, definitely shoot one one thousandth of a second or greater, which is good. This has goes up to 2,000. So I'll usually shoot when I'm zoomed in that much at 1,000 minimum but I'll try to get 2,000 if there's enough light that allows me to do one 2,000th of a second. So it's pretty cool. I like that it's all automatic, all electronic. Just put the film in, it reads it, it rolls it. I don't have to do anything except set the exposure, focus, you know, ex um, compose my image and take the picture and it takes care of the rest. So that's pretty nice. I did. It's really hard to focus when you're zoomed in like that. I had a few images that ended up blurry, but so you definitely have to take your time, be careful. So yeah, I think if you're, if you find one of these, I looked them up on eBay, you can get them for pretty cheap. I found one for a hundred bucks that comes with four lenses, including a telephoto lens and the camera. I've seen some with just a camera and a more standard 35 to 70 millimeter lens for $50. So they're not pretty inexpensive and pretty cool. I enjoyed shooting it. I enjoyed a lot of the images, except they turned out to be way grainy. And I only shot one roll. So I'm gonna choo uh, try some Ektar 100, which I've never really had issues with and see if I can get some sharper images. But it's pretty sweet for 50 bucks. Definitely glad I got it. And the roll, I got some good slides. I'll show you here in a minute. So um, yeah, besides the grain, the high grain, which is okay, cause you know, you have that kind of, it gives it a retro film look. Like a lot of these images look like it was taken in the seventies up in a mountain. So they're cool. They have that vintage appeal, but um, I definitely want to try it again and get some sharper images. And for $50 and then getting some sharp images with that telephoto, like I can't complain. I think it will be fantastic for nature photography to get some close-ups on some wildlife. It's pretty sweet. For 50 bucks, I am satisfied and I really like a lot of the images I got. So, so take a look at um, the images I took with it. Hope you like them. If you like this video, I will do a few more. I have picked up recently a lot of uh, 35 millimeter film cameras, so I'll do a couple more kind of looks at the cameras I have. So subscribe, comment if you have experience shooting with telephoto um, 35 millimeter, anything you've learned or thoughts you have, I'd love to hear about what you've experienced with shooting um, telephoto lenses on film. So comment below, like the video and subscribe and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the, the photos as well.